Hi. Now, in this first question, we're asked to express 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta in the form r sine of theta plus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha is an angle that is between 0 and 90 degrees. And then we've got to go on to solve the equation 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta plus 1 equals 0, giving all the solutions for which theta is between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you're done, come back and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, for this first part here, let's just put down, first of all, our expression. That is 3 sine theta, 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta. Now, to express expressions like this in the form r sine theta plus alpha, you should be familiar with these standard results. I've got tutorials on these. If you go on my website, you can see them. And so when I compare this particular expression to what we've got over here, I can see that this is the top one. So we can say that this is identical to a sine of theta plus b cos of theta. And we can see that A, I'll just put here where A is going to be equal to the 3 here. And B must be equal to the 4. All right? So according to this, R, OK, that will put therefore R equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. So in this example, it's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. That comes to 9 plus 16, which is 25. And we take the root of that, which is going to be 5. We don't do plus or minus. We always take the positive value in these kind of questions. And then to get alpha, all I've got to do is that alpha is equal to the inverse tan of B over A. In other words, 4 over 3 for this example. The inverse tan of 4 thirds. We're working in degrees mode here for this angle, so make sure your calculator is in degrees. And if you work that out, you'll end up with 53.1301 and so on degrees. So therefore, we've got our value of R and alpha. We can say that therefore 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta is identical to R, which we now know is 5, sine of theta plus alpha. And I'm going to give alpha to, say, one decimal place, so that would be 53.1 degrees. And I'll just put here 1 dp, OK? Right, well, in the second part of this question, it says, hence, then, solve the equation 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta plus 1 equals 0. And we have to give our solutions for theta between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees. So, again, if you'd like to pause the video at this stage, just give you a moment to do that. And then you can come back and check your working against mine. OK, welcome back then if you did have a go. So with this one, let's just put down our equation first of all. So we've got 3 sine of theta plus 4 cos theta plus 1 equals 0. Now, it says hence, so it's obviously got to have something to do with this. And I can see that that part of the expression is here in our equation. So what I'm going to do is replace that then with 5 sine of theta plus the 53.1. OK, so we'll do that. And I'm also going to subtract 1 from both sides. So what I therefore have, OK, is 5 sine 
of theta plus, and I'm not going to write 53.1 here, I'm going to use the unrounded version, okay, so as we don't have a problem with accuracy. So 53.1301 and so on, okay, degrees, and that would equal minus 1 if we subtract 1 from both sides. Next, I need to get rid of the 5, so I divide both sides by 5, and I therefore have sine of theta plus 53.1301 and so on degrees equals minus a fifth, or in fact minus 0 0.2. Okay, same thing. Now all I've got to do now is inverse sine both sides, and that will give me what theta plus 53.1301 degrees is equal to. So if we do that, we'll therefore have theta plus 53.1301 and so on degrees equals the inverse sine of negative 0.2. Now at this point, what I want to look at is what the new range is going to be, okay? And then I'm going to draw a quadrant diagram around this problem. So we'll come down here, all right, okay, and we'll just think about what our new range is going to have to be, first of all. I'm doing theta plus 53.1301. And I've got our range here. Theta goes between minus 180 and 180 degrees. So I'm going to add 53.1301 to each of these three values. And that will be my new range, okay? So we'll just put up here, new range. So if I add 53.1301 to theta, I'm just going to get theta plus 53.1301 and so on, okay? And this has got to be in between two angles. And if I add, 53.1301 to minus 180 degrees, you'll find you get minus 126.86, and so on, okay? And if I add 53.1301 to 180 degrees, you'll find that I get 233.13, and so on, degrees, okay? So that's my new range. And I've done that so that I can work off my quadrant diagram. And in the usual way, we'll just draw our quadrant diagram up. Remember, this is 0 degrees. This is 90, 180, 270, and back to 360 degrees. Now, sine here is negative. So we've got to think, where is sine negative, which quadrants is it negative in? Remember it goes all sine, tan, cos for the positive values. So sine is negative in the third and fourth quadrants. So we draw a line equally inclined to this horizontal here. Mark in that angle and draw a line here equally inclined to that horizontal line there. So the angles that we want, well first of all what I'm going to do is just work out what the inverse sine of minus 0 0.2 is. It's negative, and the calculator, if you do that, gives us minus 11.536 degrees. We'd expect that because it gives us the closest angle to 0 degrees. And it's a minus angle, so we're turning in the negative sense. So that's this angle in here. This angle in here is minus 11 point, we'll put it in, 536, and so on degrees, okay? And that is going to be one of our solutions. This is in this range here. This angle here, let's just mark it in in green, okay, is going to be a possible theta plus 53.1301 degrees. That means that this angle right the way around here, because this angle in here would, in magnitude, let's just mark it in, this angle in here, in magnitude, will have the same size angle as this one. It'll be 
0.536 and so on degrees. But if I was to turn from here right the way round to here, this would be a negative angle, but it would be minus 180 plus 11.536, and that comes to minus 168.464 and so on degrees, which is outside this range here. So I don't need to turn from here to this one. But the other solution that we need is starting from here, going all the way around to here, okay? And this one will fall in the range. It's going to be 180 degrees plus 11.536 degrees. And that will give us another angle for theta plus 53.1301. So let's just put those answers in. I hope you've been able to follow that, okay? Let's just put this equals here. So if I inverse sine minus 0 0.2, I get this one. Check it out on your calculator, make sure it's in degrees mode, okay? So you get minus 11.536 and so on degrees. And then this one round here is going to be 180 plus 11.536 and so on degrees. And that gives you 191.536. And so on degrees. All right? Now it's at this point, okay, that we subtract 53.1301 from each of these two angles. And if I do that, okay, we therefore have that theta will equal, and so if I subtract 53.1301 from the minus 11.536, we end up with minus 64. 0.666 and so on degrees. And then if we subtract 53.1301 from the 191.536, we end up with 138.405 and so on degrees. Notice how these two are now in this range, okay, that we needed for theta, okay? And so we need to give our answers to some degree of accuracy. I'm going to choose one decimal place, so therefore theta will equal minus 64.7 degrees for that one. And then for this one, it's going to be 138.4 degrees, and that's to 1 dp. Okay? So I hope you've been able to uh, follow my working there, okay, especially over this part here, always a tricky stage. So uh, well done if you got these answers, and if not, as I say, I hope you've been able to follow what I've done.